Hey guys, wanted to come tell you, give you a little bit of information on what we're doing today, and we're not going to be able to hunt today. We've got uh, life's happening, so uh, just wanted to touch base with you, see how you're doing. Amanda had a couple things she wanted to say. I wanted to say, hey guys, thanks for the comments that you're putting on YouTube. We appreciate them. Uh, it's killing me that I can't get back out there today. Uh, it's a beautiful day, but uh, we've got uh, she's got a doctor's appointment and. And then we got to go pick up my son in South Carolina. So we got to go down there. And it's about over as far as having to run, then I'll be able to run the banks. So anyway, I'm gonna let her say something. Go ahead, hey Bob. guys, um, as Tim said, it's gonna be a busy, busy day today. Um, we're down to the wire. Johnny leaves Sunday morning for the Navy, so Life is definitely happening in the next three days. We have company coming in from West Virginia tomorrow to spend time with Johnny before he leaves. And then Saturday, he will be splitting his time between us and grandparents um, so that they can see him and love on him before he goes. Um, but we basically just wanted to come to you and tell you what was going on why we wouldn't be able to hunt the next few days. I also wanted to give a shout out to Brian Wright. Yeah, thanks Brian, appreciate he, uh, that. He said that he was mailing us something in the mail and we should get it uh, in the mail before next weekend. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. We're super, super excited to get whatever you are sending. I can't wait to see what your talent is that God has given you. Um, he says he has woodworking talents and that he would be sending something that would be six foot tall and I'm assuming it'd be very heavy. Uh, if it's wood and it's six foot tall, I'm assuming it's going to be heavy. Uh, and for someone to do that for you and send it to you in the mail, uh, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, and so we just want him to know that we really, really appreciate it. We want all of our subscribers to know that we appreciate you tuning in to our videos um, as often as we can get one up. Um, Hit that notification bell, guys. We love you. Um, if you're new to the channel, you can go back a couple videos and see what we're all about. If you like what we are offering, then you can subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get the new videos that we post. But um, one more thing I wanted to hit on is I had read an article the other day and then I had um, done a little research on you know if that was true what I was reading or not and come to find out it is so because of the war in Ukraine or that's what they're blaming it on um, bread pasta um, any kind of cereal wheat, cereal uh, any kind of wheat product is either going to be going up between 20 and 50 percent higher. The things that people need to get by on, like the, you know, sandwiches and everything, if you're going to have to try to skimp to get by, um, now they're raising the prices on that well, so that you can't save money there either. They said that they were going up between 20 and 50 percent, and soon thereafter, later this year you may not even be able to get those items i mean i grew up dirt poor i ate sandwiches all the time and never in my life did i think that i wouldn't even be able to get bread to make a sandwich so i just wanted to make everyone aware i'm sure you're aware because you're living it every day just like we are Whoa, sorry, guys. what is actually going on and that if you can, you need to prep for, you know, what's to come. I mean, if you go to Walmart or you go to Kroger or Aldi or whatever your supermarket of choice is, and you can pick up a couple of cans of Beanie Weenies and spam and, and put them back, well, that's just going to be able to feed your family when we're not able to go to the grocery store and get these things, either because they're not available or they're so high we can't afford them um like i said 
never in my 30 some years did I ever think that we would be facing what we're facing and it's very scary knowing that we're sending our son into the to the Navy and Red light to camera we're not really ahead. sure what's going to happen in Red the next three camera years ahead. but y'all just be praying for Johnny and um, we'll do a video the day he leaves because he watches our channel and he's going to need all the love and encouragement and support that he can get and um, we're super proud of him couldn't be more proud of him love you son and we just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know what's going on in our life and what we got coming up you know it's kind of aggravating that you know here in east tennessee which was like a major farming area that you see all the barns rotting to the ground because they put all the farmers out of business. And once they got control of the produce, the agricultural uh, community, then they decide they're gonna starve us to death. So. Well, the farmers are unable to, some of them. I'm, I'm not talking about them, I'm talking about the government's decided that they're gonna put sanctions on everything and they're gonna like uh, block the ports, you know, because of wars saying, and stuff like that. They're trying to make it harder on farmers by not being able to get fertilizer and yeah, stuff. Yeah, raising the price can't of the feed. Your food, then how are you going to get it? Because those farmers are who send your produce to Walmart or whatever supermarket you choose to use. So if they are unable to grow the produce, how are you going to eat? So I say that it's time for us to begin to take care of ourselves because the higher up leadership is not worried about you or your poor little old grandma that's living on social security and making it day by day. Um, so I feel like we need to start doing everything we can for our families and ourselves. And you know, if you can put extra back, put extra back, not only for your family, but someone who may not have realized what we were getting ready to face and your neighbors might come to you hungry i mean you never know and i want to be that type of neighbor that helps another neighbor if they need it crime rate has went up people stealing gas um, robbing stores robbing stores killing people over money that's another thing i wanted to touch on too uh, in our area it's been all over the local news people are punching holes in the gas tanks of your vehicles people when they're sitting outside of stores or in your driveway and draining the gas out of them so then you have to get the whole fuel tank replaced and then there's also uh, catalytic converters being cut off of a lot of cars and in they're area. taking them to scrap them uh, for money and if you get a catalytic converter cut off of your car, depending on what kind of car you have, it's going to cost you between $1,500 and $3,000 to get that catalytic converter fixed. I think they said uh, some places were like saying it was like 1000 to get but it replaced. Either way, I don't know about you, but I don't have that type of money to put out because someone decided to cut the catalytic converter off of my car. And so just park in well-lit areas and be aware of your surroundings as much as possible. Uh, because the crime rate in our area, since all of the inflation and the gas prices have rose, is definitely rising. Definitely rising. So it's definitely getting worse. And, you know, when they raise, when inflation goes up, the crime rate goes up. And to be honest, you know, it's it makes it tough on everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just be uh, vigilant, be aware. If you can purchase a little bit of extra stuff that's got a long shelf life, go ahead and get it that way. You know, you don't have to worry about like going and there's no bread or, um, you know, you'll at least have something to eat. So just be, uh, be watching because when you go to the grocery store and right now we're starting to see limited supplies everywhere we go. So it's, uh, it's kind of scary guys. So uh, just be, be watching for that. And as soon as we can get back out and get you guys another video, we'll definitely be back out there. We uh, thank you. We love you. Thank you for supporting us and our channel and our family. And we'll see you.
see you guys in the next video. And we're looking forward to maybe getting a thousand subscribers so we can get monetized and you know maybe we can put that back into the channel and uh, we're looking forward to that day so if you can like and subscribe it really helps us out and uh, we appreciate it guys thanks for coming Thank along you. with us we appreciate it god bless